Leadership is a lot more complicated these days, I believe being replaced by this concept of creative ship. Creative ship is made possible through a tenacious focus on six overlapping interdependent business pillars. Purpose, engagement, high performance, innovation, pride branding, global growth. 2000, 2001, that really had a profound effect on me. And I didn't understand how these iconic companies could go up in flames. How can strong leadership lose their moral compass in a way that thousands of people become unemployed? 2008, 2009. We saw yet again what happens when you focus so much on short-term results, it potentially can lead to organizational greed. Every brand up there has either gone bankrupt or is a brand no more. And once upon a time, all those brands had great leaders. They were all employers of choice. What happened to those companies? Generation Y is a purpose generation. Even my son Brendan, who's here today, Brendan works at Raytheon. He works in the Patriot Missile Group. But it was funny, because I asked him, um, you guys make missiles, what's your like, purpose? And he looked at me without missing a beat. He said, Dad, we protect those who protect us. <laughs> wow. See, your employees care less about what it is you do. They care a lot more about why you do it. Companies that focus on purpose outperform their peers six times. So it drives business results. It's good for the business. The leadership team has to build trust. How do you build trust? Competence, integrity, show concern about the well-being of people. See, if you want to build engagement in your business, your leaders have to demonstrate that they care about the employees. To allow mediocrity to exist, you disengage high performance. And a culture of high performers will lead to other high performers wanting to work for that high performing company. Any time you get your employees to challenge the norm on how you currently do things is innovation. If you get your employees to question how you do accounts payable, chances are they're going to have an idea, especially if you bring in someone who didn't create the current accounts payable process. They can't see what is so evident in front of them. Tri branding is taking the concept of co-branding and it's introducing a third dimension. The first time I got um, my droid and I showed my brother and he didn't even listen. He took out his iPhone. He started showing me all of his apps on his iPhone. That's brand ambassadorship. And the reason it is so incredibly important in 2013 because social media is your brand accelerator. Cebu Pacific Airlines. A customer took a video on their little device and uploaded it to YouTube. 10,667,000 views. That's tri branding at its finest. Cost of distribution, zero. That's the Northeastern University 2012 graduating class. And I saw this sea of students, thousands of them. They're like carpenter ants. They're entering the workplace. They're coming, there were waves of them. Oh, and by the way, and I saw 3,000 of them with little flashlights on their lap. Those weren't flashlights. 3,000 of them were texting. That's how they communicate. But why should you guys get excited about this? Well, because these students are global. Notre Dame just reported first time ever, 50% of graduates that graduated from Notre Dame class of 2012 spent a semester abroad. That's half the population. My semester abroad was doing the Freedom Trail on a Saturday with my instructor. <laughs> if you want to win the war for talent, you have to be thinking about globalization. In 2011, people like me, we ruled. We were the boomers. We were the dominant workforce generation. Let's take a look at what happens in 2014. Look what happens to Generation Y. And for the first time, us baby boomers are gonna be in a minority. If you haven't figured out how to engage this population, you're not gonna to win tomorrow.